Round one of the 2024 NCAA Men's Lacrosse Tournament continues here in our nation's capital. The Penn State Nittany Lions out of the Big Ten taking on the six-time defending Big East champion Georgetown Hoya. For Penn State will take the draw. Penn State in their road navy. Georgetown and home white. And Georgetown wins the opening faceoff. A couple of Nittany Lions run into each other at X. As they try and get sorted out, here's Jake Moore. He's going to have to make something happen in a hurry. Up top, shot, score! As the buzzer sounds. I think Anderson Moore is thrown off a little bit here. Shot clock is winding down. He catches it in one motion. Catch, and then he uses the turn for the torque. We'll take a look at the clock as well as Trainer hits from downtown. This is unbelievable awareness out of the junior to get this off in time. Yeah, he releases it. Now he will invert. Dylan Hess, the all Big East D midi, 40 checking him. Superior athlete, 40 and white. Here comes Malone, shoots and scores! He's torn up on championship weekend a year ago against Duke when the team lost by just one. I thought Haley was the best player on the field that day. He uses the backhand too. Bundy trying to get a pick, can't get one. Here's for Darrow. Roll back! Roll back! Inside and the Hoyas get on the board. Oh. He's got the eyes and the vision to get teammates involved. The fifth-year senior, some playoff experience. He's got the Swamp Dogs down by one. Penn State can throw two different guys at you, too. You have Mullins, and then there's the there's the change of pace, too. With Kobe Baldwin. Yeah, with Kobe Baldwin. Oh, it gets by Anderson. Anderson made the initial oh. save, and then it dropped right out of his cross, Paul, right at the goal line. <laughs> he sets his feet. But Anderson Moore is there. This is one you're just going to drive yourself nuts over. And when you're a freshman, you're standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mercer. Oh. You make the stop. You see the frustration, rightfully so. Some of the great lacrosse players that he's coached in the teams. That's Krogan right there. Save made by Frassion. I just think his big save ability. He's had one bad game this season. It was the last one against Michigan in Big Ten play. Otherwise, he's been on fire. Took his spot after he graduated a season ago after playing midfield his first two years, but he's a natural goal scorer. Going to get a flag here. Delay call against Georgetown. Somehow it ends up in Trainer's stick, and he buries it. When you're a, a KG vet like Frassion, you make these plays outside of your crease to fuel your offense. Did I say Matt Trainer was a natural goal scorer? This is sick. Between the legs, the improv, the creativity, the how you doing by Matt Trainer. Look at this. This is sick. That is a thing of beauty. Bundy. You know he's got an incredible shot, Kark. And when he gets free here, let it fly. Frassion with the save. And that's the other piece to Penn State. Kind of their distributor. The player who can calm this team down. I think he needs some touches. Aiden Carroll needs some touches. Malone shoots and scores! And he's getting the touches he needs because the defense has been on red alert. Alex Ross with the interception. And that is a brute force dodge against Ty Banks, who likes to play the leverage game. This is a sixth-year senior. Malone gets a step on his defender. Tried that little backhand shot again, but that time Anderson Moore was up to the task. Behind a Krogan. Here's Schubert. He scores! Four goals in that Big East tournament game. I like how he rolls. He continues upfield. And there was serious pop to this shot. Gets his hands free with the roll. Continues upfield. 
Now Malone has his defender hung up. Long with the shot. Trainer gets the rebound though and buries it in the corner. It's the rebound. Attention to detail in terms of following that shot. That is big time shooting capability with both hands from freshmen. A little unlucky on that shot, but Georgetown just 2 of 11 shooting to start this game. And Penn State continues to shoot. Unlucky on the other end with a Schubert rip. Wallstrom from behind the cage with a little stutter, the shake. They're up five. Is nine one of those players that has to take over this game now for Georgetown? He does, but he's being defended by was Kevin Parnham and then the switch. I think Parnham, the lefty, plays the righty Bundy pretty well here. It's a good look. That'll help the cause. Between him and TJ Haley, they can really operate the offense from a passing perspective and get the flow going. Here's Schubert. Shoot, scores! And he has confidence. We've seen him stretch a defense with a hammer with his right hand. And I've seen multiple release points. Dodges from both sides of the field. Some nice skilled players coming back for Kevin Warren. Still man up for Georgetown. There's Schubert, steps down and step pass it to Carroll, scores! Right on the doorstep. Now he's on the porch, right in front. And you see the patience, rather than catching that right away, Cotter, and shooting like Schubert did, he turns, he locates the cage, and now they're on a 3-0 run. And they've got some life. Here's Bundy. Krogan with the catch. Gets under his defender, couldn't get a shot off though, and gets dumped in the crease. They're gonna call a loose ball push. Krogan back to Haley. Bundy takes a step inside. Wow! Finishes that one off. A Penn State defense he couldn't solve in the first quarter. And then you continue to have the rock, and this is where you just see a blinding, blistering rip by Graham Bundy Jr. And that's why he was drafted by the Denver Outlaws in the PLL. Puts his shoulder into a defender. Watch out here, Bundy shoots! More with the save, Bundy gets it back and shoots again wide! Malone. Stakes his way through the defense. Yeah, it's loses it though. Moore. There's Malone. There's Moore with the save. Trainer tried to get a shot off and it was deflected. He gets it back though. Unsettled here. That was a nice play by Georgetown defensively. Just deflecting it enough. Costin. In front, scores! It looks like he's shooting the ball low here. Gets the pass from Morin. And he gets Anderson Moore to think low. You see that? That little subtle shoulder lean and head lean. Schubert working hard behind the cage. Looks like Schubert in the first half was a little bit of a surprise for Penn State. Now he's being defended by Alex Ross, who's their top cover defender. Ray shoots and scores! Well, it's Jack Schubert and Jordan Ray right now that have been the catalysts, willing their way to keep their team in this matchup in D.C. We have a dead. Haley on the shorty. In front, Hess couldn't bury it. Malone with a really loud start to this game, and he's been quiet recently. All the way to the other side. Shot! Moore with the save, but gives it the rebound, and Donnelly is there to bury it.
In the first quarter, he was staring down a shot that hit off his stick. Right now, he makes the stop on Luke Mercer. That ball's flying high 90s. But he doesn't make the clean save. And Donnelly is Johnny on the spot. Moore now loses defender. Bangs into Hess. Up top. Costin too high. Malone is so good. Good catch by Moore. And that's Trainer. Costin near side. He shoots. Moore with the save and picks up the rebound himself. He likes to go. I've been doing the damage. Verdaro trying to do the damage here, and Frassian shuts the door. Donnelly keeps it. Gets the ball checked away. Ten seconds for Georgetown. Ball loose in the middle of the field. Picked up by Penn State. Can the Nittany Lions get a shot? Donnelly will shoot it. Save made by Moore. Thunderstorm all rolled into one. Yeah, we haven't seen James Ball since the injury. Georgetown gets that face off, but can they win the possession? Riley was able to clamp it. He's your sixth year senior. He's a two-time Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year. Let him control the tempo of this game. Wallstrom, Wally Halpert robs it. Beautiful pass ahead as well to Banks. Banks shoots, scores! Wearing the legendary number 17 of maybe one of the greatest defenders ever in Brody Merrill with an old school bouncer. Credit Banks for not getting trail checked by Costin right there. Here's Bundy on Parnum. Gets underneath him but doesn't have an angle. Good look up top to Carroll. Carroll shoots, hits the pipe. Ball's loose in front. Picked up by Georgetown and it's Ray who scores. These goalies are so legit, Cotter, you have to cash in on the rebounds. Because the rebounds have these goalies out of sorts. They're recalibrating, they're finding their space. You see Frassian right there, he's chasing the ball. And then on the rebound, Johnny on the spot is Jordan Ray. Now again, late in this going here against Georgetown. The Hoyas have all the momentum and they've tied it. Carroll back to his left, he shoots, Frassian with the save. Trainer shoots Moore with the save. Hess, big ground ball. It's Schubert because he's been getting short sticked, and then they switch to Alex Ross, their top cover guy. Now he is a shorty again. Verdaro shoots. Frassian makes the save. Dangerous in front. Frassian with another save. To the near side of Verdaro. Has no angle. Under 10 to shoot. Verdaro gets it to Haley. He's going to have to make something on his own. Inside, scores! Just as the shot clock was winding down. Oh. It's for Frassian, her body blows to the defense of Penn State. Especially when the rebound can go to Georgetown. You're playing against a gassed defense that's playing rep after rep, late in the shot clock. One of the best passers Kevin Warren has ever coached is TJ Haley. That's the foot. You see the right foot there, Clark? From this angle right now, I see some green in between the yellow. All right, give me one more view here. That's, That's the cool. only thing they're looking at. Okay, we might get a better look here. 24 in white catches. Can't see it there. It's obstructed. Wait, let's see that right foot. Ball crosses after the foot. Whoa, from that angle, it's tough. That's, yes. Wow. That looks so like it touches a little of the yellow, first. potentially. So now back to this angle. This was a tougher angle. If we could get the last angle that we had from up front and then freeze it at his foot. Because it looks like his foot is right near the yellow before the ball crosses the plane. This is the angle. If we could freeze it when his right foot hits the turf. His right foot right. There. The ball has not crossed the plane yet, so if that's on the yellow, that is no goal. That is such a hard call right here. Thank you very much.
have to review the Georgetown number 24 foot stayed out of the goal. We have a good goal. Penn State is charged your first time out. It has no more reviews. Haley. Under 10 to shoot. Unbelievable goal by Krogan on the run. TJ Haley, Mr. Assister. Patrick Krogan, Johnny on the spot. TJ Malone has to be your guy here. I've said it once, I've said it twice, I'll say it a hundred times. He's your best player. He's the conference's most outstanding offensive player. Instead, it's Costin who takes the shot, and Moore eats that one up easily. Bundy off the pipe. <laughs> he can let it rip. No over and back because it hit the pipe, so a mad scramble for this ball. Won by Penn State. Malone was wide open, Connor. Can't get it to him, though. The ball is still loose. Huge ground ball, still loose. On the sideline, what's the call? It's going to go to Penn State. Penn State wants to put a wrench in all those plans, though, right here. And this is Malone. The one you want to have the ball in his stick. Lehman, who's just shaking up on that last play, loses his footing and loses the ball. Here comes Hess. Hess, great look on the far side to Carroll, but he can't control the pass. If he could have, he would have had a great shot. Loose ball in the middle of the field. Bodies flying all over the place. Haley comes out of there with it. Penn State and Costa now with it, although it's deflected in the middle of the field. Look at the bodies flying everywhere. Georgetown with it. Great, great pass from Haley. He falls down. Now he's got a shorty on him. Moore makes the save. Verdaro doing just that. Because remember, you don't have James Ball. So even if you score, you're dealing with a face-off. Verdaro takes a shot, it pings off the crossbar, and that'll be a fresh 60. They've been so good with the backups. Krogan here in all kinds of trouble, and he stepped on the sideline. First order of business accomplished, Card. Now Costin. He'll shoot. Moore can't find it, now he does. Nittany Lions gotta get a turnover, they gotta get it quickly. Down two goals. Schubert has an empty net, chooses to take it and scores. Stayed the course, saved his best for last. Big East Tournament, four goals. NCAA first round dominating. Coach loves it. Trainer tries behind the back, now 1.9. And that is it. Let the celebration begin. The Georgetown Hoyas advance to the quarterfinals for the third time in the last four seasons. Is this finally the year that Coach Ward and his Chargers can get past the quarterfinal round and play their way in the championship weekend?